What is going on guys? Welcome back to another day here in the snake room. Now today we're doing something that I wasn't expecting, but we're going to be probing some of the snakes. Um, my sister is over today. <laughs> Coral is now up. But uh, we're going to be pulling out some of the bigger rattlesnakes. I want to see if they are 100% male or female. She's very good at this, so I asked her to come over and help me out with it. Alright guys, so we're going to start with the Mexican West Coast rattlesnakes. Um, now I do believe, I could be very wrong, because the person that had these snakes likes to say they're, say, pretty much he tells people what they are, but they're not really what they are. So, um, prime <laughs> well, example, what are you looking for? yeah, I believe that the big blonde one, which his name I thought was Wasabi, but it's not, I'm going to correct it, but, um, I thought he was a male and I thought the other one was a female. So today we're going to really find out uh, if that is true or not. So. <laughs> Don't mind my daughter crying in the background. Fully loaded. Hopefully she. Yeah, I'm going to say she. She? Yeah. Alright, you want to, uh... I'm gonna open that cage for you, huh? No, the cage is already open. Oh. Well, okay. Here you go. Shrink. There. Hook. Alright, so, that one is a female. That's very good. Now we're gonna pull out the other one, see if it is a male or a female as well. So these guys have what you call a teal scale. Basically, on the, in the middle of their scale, they have a little spot that raises up. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Well, I guess you can kind of see a little bit. That's pretty neat. Now you want to explain to them what you're doing over the rattle if you can. Uh -huh. It does do that. No. I'm going to stop it from rattling. <laughs> um, so when you probe them, you're going to go up the one side. You always want to lube up your probe good. You go up the side and you try 
gently, because you can hurt them if you're not, to see how far in you can get the probe. Um, oh, I'm sorry, buddy. The males, it will go in a lot further because it'll travel up the hemipene. There's both females. Ah, there we go. Okay. So the female that we did, see he's going, going, going. So the female, when I put it in, it only went up to about one scale length. This one went all the way there. Females, generally, you can tell they're about one to three, maybe a couple extra scales. The males will go anywhere up to nine to 15 scales in. When you're doing this, though, if you're not really careful, you can be probing a female, push a little too hard with maybe too small of a probe, and pop through. And uh, that's really dangerous. So like, you should not do this if you've never done it before, or you're not taught properly. You should not be doing this. Nope, wrong way. Other way. You're not going to sit that way. Just shake it over and go. Alright. Alright, so on different snakes, you can tell the gender by, I guess, looking at its tail. Some snakes are sexually dimorphic, which you've heard me talk about previously. Um, in other videos, yeah, like the white lip tree vipers, prime example, the males have an actual white line that goes all the way up their uh, body, across their face, and down the other side, which actually separates their belly scales from their back scales. So that's something that's sexually dimorphic because the females don't have that white line at all. Um, sometimes you can look at snakes' tails and tell, like, kaboon vipers are prime examples. You want to explain that to them? Um... The females don't have anything filling up that tail space, so their tails will be a lot thinner than the males usually. Um, even with the two snakes that we just probed, the female has a much shorter tail than the male, uh, and his tail's a lot fatter. The hemipenes go all the way down, so that's why the female's her tail is more tapered, thinner and shorter. So you can do that with a lot of the snakes. It's usually how I deal with the, the small bush vipers and stuff like the squams and whatnot, you can usually eyeball them, and you can do it from a pretty young age, so it's easier that way than traumatizing them. All right, so next we're gonna try and pull up my, uh, one of my canebrake rattlesnakes, the one that I always call male. I believe it is a male. It was given to me as a male. It was a free snake that somebody had gave me because they said it was too aggressive. Uh, it was supposedly wild caught. Um, I really am hoping that these are paired so that when I can produce babies with them, I'm actually going to be donating them to uh, New England Reptile or Nerd, as you guys mostly know them as, because uh, Kevin does do a lot of conservation work with these particular snakes. So Susie did probe the other one when I first got here many, many years ago. It was over five years ago, um, and it was a female. So we're going to pull out the other one, and hopefully it is a male. Okay. 
Coral is very upset right now. It's like she knows we're here, but... They said this is Yeah. I mean, I can't complain. It was a free snake, but. Yeah. Who gave it to you? Mr. Shatowski. Oh. The one it wanted to go into didn't go in far. Let's see this side. It's either a female or it has very clogged up hemipenes. I'm gonna say it's a female though. Okay. You're a girl. So, two females. So we need a male. Yeah. So, if anybody catches a male cambrai, hit your boy up. Yeah. So again, keeled scales like the Mexican West Coast rattlesnake. You can see in the middle of each scale, kind of, there's like a small little line. Alright, so we're going to be putting this guy back, this girl back, I should say. Just that hand sanitizer all over your glass. I'm oh, sorry. Susie, no. <laughs> I sorry. do keep my glass clean, you know. Well, I have snake funk on my hands. So. Yeah, snake what? Funk. Funk. Oh, man. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that'll do it for this one. So. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something new. Subscribe if you're not already. Smash that like button if you haven't already. We will see you guys in the next video. Like always, huge thank you to our Patreons. You guys are fucking amazing. Bye!